Because at first, if you don't succeed, you must try again. That's what I did, sis. Because at first, I was a little worried. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. This ain't it. But I think I made it come to life. So, you guys, this hair was sent to me by Her Given Hair. It came in a nice, sturdy box. Came with some clips, elastic band, as well as that little brochure letting you know how you can apply the wig. This is what the wig was looking like. Yes, it looks extra dry and crazy, but the construction of it is really, really nice and well constructed. Yeah, when I first put it on, I was like, what in the world am I going to do with this? <laughs> y'all i was just so yeah so that's how it looked at first like in the complete fro stage so this is straight out of the box exactly how it looks like and you can actually see some curl definition in the back so i went ahead and washed the hair so that i can really get like to see what it looks like and as you can see here i'm combing through the hair the hair was really really soft like looks can be deceiving because the curls was like popping and the hair was really really soft so i decided to just kind of pull it towards my face so i would just pull the front section up and just took my little dimming brush and just defined my clur my curls as much as I could so that's what I'm doing here and I kept touching it and picking it because the hair was like really really soft like her given hair has some really nice soft hair and they're really known for their clip-ins that I love I had my clip-ins for years y'all look at these curls like just coming through like the wig it wasn't really my friend at first but I love the way that it felt. <laughs> so here I'm just going through and defining my curls. And this is what I was left with. And it's partial my fault. Like the wig is just like a okay wig, even though the quality of the wig is really, really nice. But um, I didn't let the hair dry. I just had it in like this wet jerry curl kind of fro look which was really weird and it just wasn't it as much as i tried to make it it and like do like little different poses and stuff that won't it sis tried to pick it a different way nope try to put a middle part oh heck, no uh -uh. so here i'm trying again and i'm using this main choice um gel to define my curls and do my flat twist in the front because i'm only doing it on the front so i can have like a nice thicker defined front and then have my curls more smaller and defined for the tapered back so I'm adding the gel a nice amount combing through the hair and you can see how the curls are just forming through the hair is really really nice in the quality um, the color I'm not a big fan of but after I put this product on it and let it like air dry it almost like made the color a little darker which which is really nice for me that I actually like it like a little bit dark and not so reddish brown. So I'm just going through, um, adding the gel, combing through, and then doing my flat twist. I'm doing a flat twist almost like a braid, just twisting it over instead of doing three strands. So that's how I achieved my flat twist. And then I let the hair dry for about two days. So this is two days later. And you can see like the curls are really defined. It wasn't too crunchy, but it was a little crunchy because it's like gel. So it really held the curl. When I used this gel on my natural hair, I had like a whole white head. And y'all, I'm telling you, I didn't use any other product. But when I used it on this wig, it didn't have any white or cakey residue. So maybe it was me when I did all my hair. But this here... Is like pretty much the finished look. I'm just going to pick it out a little bit. So it came out way better, like a nice little tapered look. So you definitely click the link down below if you like this wig. So yeah, let me know, guys. Okay, guys, so this turned out way better. Like, I feel like I can actually maybe go to a nice little festival in this hair. <laughs> so I think it looks so much better. And the color doesn't look half bad either. Like I was afraid of the color. And maybe because it has product on it. So it's a little darker than what it really is. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's it came out cute. Because I was scared at first. This, I was like, eh, no. But then I said, let me try again. 
Because at first, if you don't succeed, you must try again. And that's what I did. I think this is cute. Something different. Let me know what y'all think. Okay, you guys. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely click the link down below if you fell in love with this wig. All right, guys. Bye.